So the APA style write-up for hierarchical linear regression is actually, how can I express this, it's actually quite lengthy um, because you need to address each of the models separately. And since we actually ran, it's essentially you just run five separate multiple linear regressions. And you have to explain each of the five. So then you're, no matter how many, uh, even though you're doing one research question, you've got five separate paragraphs here just to answer that one from this single analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and, and read through this just to provide some clarity. Um, to approach our research question, a hierarchical linear regression analysis was conducted to evaluate the prediction of our dependent variable from our independent variables, one through five, or however many you're going to use. For the first block analysis, the predictive variable, IV1 was analyzed. Now this is important. In your first block, you don't necessarily have to use just a single independent variable. You may want to use two or three in your first block. Uh, there's, there's no rules about that. So you could have, you know, I used one, but you could use more than one. The results of the first block, hierarchical linear regression analysis, revealed a model not to be statistically significant, where the p-value is greater than 0.05. Um, additionally, the r-square value of 0 0.001 associated with this regression model suggests that the independent variable 1 accounts for 0.01% uh, of the variation in the dependent variable. Um, that's actually a typographical error compared to what we just did. I apologize. Uh, which means that 99.9% .9 of the variation in income cannot be explained by the independent variable alone. A different outcome was found for our, from the second block analysis. And whenever you have paragraphs, it's always good practice to have a transition sentence to the next paragraph. So for the second block analysis, the predictor variable IV2 was added to the analysis. The results of the second block hierarchical linear regression analysis revealed a model to be statistically significant, where p is less than 0 0.001. Additionally, the r squared change value of, point, uh, of 0 0.800 associated with this regression model suggests that the addition of IV2 to the first block model accounts for 80% of the variation in the dependent variable, which means that 20% of the variation in Oh, actually it says income, cannot be explained by uh, independent variable 1 and independent variable 2 alone. Uh, controlling for independent variable 2, the regression coefficient, beta equals whatever you take from the table with the confidence interval, the p-value associated with IV1 suggests that with each additional unit of IV1, the dependent variable increases by approximately so many units. Uh, controlling for IV1, the regression coefficient, the beta, the 95% confidence interval, the p-value associated with IV2 suggests that with each additional unit of the independent variable 2, the dependent variable increases by approximately so many units. A similar outcome was found for, from the third block analysis and so forth. And so you can see that um, for each block analysis, you need to write a separate paragraph. Um, and once again, the focus of this analysis and the focus of the APA write-up is to show how the R-square change occurs from block to block. So you can actually explain that as part of your research question. <laughs>